The Syrians were enemies of Israel and were determined to destroy God's people. But God knew the secret plans of the enemy and gave the prophet Elijah the miraculous ability to hear every part of their wicked plan. Every time the Syrians made a move, the Israelites were able to avoid the king's traps. The king's frustration grew every time the Israelites escaped. He questioned even his own trusted servants, demanding, Which one of you is a spy? None of us, replied one of the servants. It is Elisha, that prophet in Israel. He tells the king of Israel everything, even the exact words that you speak in your bedroom. The king was furious. Go find out where he is so that I can capture him. When the king of Syria found out where Elisha was staying, he sent a large number of armed men, chariots, and horses after him. In the middle of the night, the soldiers surrounded the city. When Elisha's servant stumbled out of his tent early the next morning, he couldn't believe his eyes. I must be dreaming, he anxiously thought to himself. Everywhere he looked, there were enemy soldiers and horses. They were completely surrounded. His heart sank in fear. Elisha, he cried, running back inside. The enemy is upon us. What are we going to do? Elisha could see the fear written on his servant's face. Don't worry, Elisha said calmly. There are more mighty warriors fighting with us than all of those against us. The servant saw nothing but the enemy. So Elisha prayed to God, please open my servant's eyes so that he can see. The Lord opened the eyes of the young man, and all at once he saw a heavenly army of horses and chariots of fire. They were not alone after all. The armies of God were there to protect them, but the Syrians could not see that God was fighting against them and charged towards the prophet and his men. Elisha continued to pray, Please, Lord, blind the enemies so that they cannot see where they are going. So God blinded the Syrians as Elisha had asked, and they stumbled around in darkness and confusion. Elisha said to them, Let me lead you to the man you are looking for. Then he led them to Samaria and right to the king of Israel, where they became his prisoners. At the advice of Elisha, the king of Israel showed them mercy and prepared a feast for them where they ate and drank. Then he let them go free. After this, the Syrians gave up their attacks on Israel.